you guys, welcome back to See Mindy Mom. And if you are just finding me, I'm so glad that you did. I'm Mindy and this is my kitchen. Today I am sharing with you four crock pot recipes that are brand new to my family. This is the first time we are trying these. So I thought I would share them with you and tell you what we think. Okay, you guys, October has arrived. It is officially here. And those of us who are slow cooker enthusiasts, and you know that I am on my channel, sometimes like to refer to October as Crocktober. So there will be lots of Crock-Pot content coming your way, not that there isn't per the usual, but I thought that I would start off by trying some new recipes, at least new to us. Some of these are actually even, you know, pretty standard, like common Crock-Pot recipes that for whatever reason we have never tried before. But these are all new to my family, so I'm gonna make them, we're going to share them with you also. I actually did a little crowdsourcing for this. I made a post, a community post on my YouTube channel, and I asked you guys if you have favorite recipes that you think that we should try, maybe if you haven't seen them on our channel, and I got so many responses. It was absolutely overwhelming. So I am actually looking forward to featuring more of those on my channel in the coming months. Thank you so much for sharing those ideas with me. So let's dive into the video, and I'll show you what we're making. The first recipe that I'm sharing with you guys is for a green chili chicken and rice casserole in the crock pot. And this was probably my favorite thing that I made all week long. It is coming from my friend Carrie's website, Lazy Day Cooking Club. She and her sister Christina run that website and it is a subscription service in which they drop new crock pot recipes into their member dashboards every month and the kicker on this one is that all of these recipes are designed to be prepped ahead of time and can be put in the freezer so they give instructions on all of the recipes for how to prep them for the freezer and then what to do on cooking day i will leave a link in the description box for lazy day cooking club and i believe if you use the code mindy 50 you can get 50 percent off of your first month here are the ingredients that I am using for this recipe. It calls for chicken breast, two cans of green chili enchilada sauce, a can of chopped green chilies, some diced onion and garlic. I am using whole milk Greek yogurt and some pepper jack cheese to go along with that. And then I'm seasoning this with chili powder and salt and pepper. The original recipe does call for sour cream. I didn't have any on the night that I made this, so I am subbing whole milk plain Greek yogurt. And I think you can use any kind of cheese you want. I just happen to have a block of pepper jack in the refrigerator and I thought that that would really kind of kick up the flavor. So I started with about three of my chicken breasts in the crock pot, about three to four depending on the size of them, probably about one and a half pounds or so. I added my two cans of green enchilada sauce, my chopped onion and garlic, my can of green chilies, and then about a couple of teaspoons of chili powder and salt and pepper to taste. And I cooked that on low for about six hours until the chicken was ready to shred. Later on, I cooked up some brown rice and I just cooked this according to the package directions. You could use whatever kind of rice you liked. I cooked one cup dry, which makes about three cups um, cooked once you're done cooking it. Once my chicken was done cooking, I just shredded that up right in the crock pot and I added to it the cooked rice, about a cup of my plain Greek yogurt, or you could use sour cream, and I stirred that all together and just let it kind of reheat through. And the next step is you could actually transfer this to a casserole dish and you could put it into the oven and bake it with some cheese on top, but I just served it straight out of the crock pot. I topped it with some shredded cheese and this was really, really good. I just served this with some tortilla chips and with some bell peppers that I had in the refrigerator that I just sauteed with a little bit of olive oil. And this was so, so flavorful. It is a New favorite for me. This made great leftovers as well for lunches and even for the freezer. And um, we will definitely be making this again. And as I said before, I will be sure to leave Carrie and Christina's website linked in the description box below. Tonight's dinner is so easy. I cannot believe I have not done this before. I've seen this a couple of times, um, different places on Pinterest, other channels. One of you suggested it in the community post about crock pot meals. It is Olive Garden chicken. And all it is, is what you see right here, chicken breast, Olive Garden salad dressing, some Parmesan cheese, some cream cheese. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of minced garlic as well, and probably some fresh cracked black pepper. I'm gonna put a few of these boneless, skinless chicken breasts into the crock pot. Yes, I just put them in frozen. I have done that for years. It turns out fine for me, but they do render more liquid. So you just wanna be aware of that if you were adding other liquids to the recipe, or sometimes you have to maybe drain a little bit of it off after it cooks, but for the most part, it works out great for me. So I'll probably do three or four of those, and then I will cut 
cover it in the um, Italian dressing here from Olive Garden. Unfortunately, I ended up with the light Italian dressing. That's okay. This was the only ingredient that I did not already have on hand to make this. And I just ran into a little grocery store on my way home from my dermatologist appointment today. I didn't want to make a stop into like the big Walmart or something just to go get this. So this is the kind they had. I'm going to use it. And I figure we're still adding a little Parmesan and some cream cheese to it. So I think it will be plenty rich. So I'll put that into the crock pot, cover it with this, cover it with the cream cheese. And I'll also sprinkle just a little bit of this parm. When I look this recipe up on Pinterest, sometimes people just use the grated in the canned parm, but I have this wedge that I got from Aldi. So I'll just grate a little bit of this up, add some garlic. We will cook that in the crock pot on low for about six to seven hours. You could cook it on high, probably for three to four. We'll shred that up and then I'll show you how I'm serving that. Also, I intend to make some veggies in one of my other crock pots. So let's go over there and I'll show you what I'm doing. I am actually going to let the crock pot do the work on the veggie side for tonight too. So I have two bags of frozen green beans here in my crock pot and then just a few little pats of butter, like maybe a few teaspoons of butter spread out over the top. And then I'm just going to sprinkle on this Italian salad dressing mix, um, seasoning mix. Then I'm just gonna cook these on low for about three hours or so. I'm doing this in my casserole crock pot. You do not have to do it in that. I've done it in this size of crock pot as well. It's just a really easy way to have some green beans. It will make them very soft. So if you're a person who likes crispy green beans, that isn't gonna work for this, but some Something really easy and it'll be ready about the same time as the chicken. I'm thinking that there are lots of possibilities for a starch to serve this with. Regular pasta would work, like a shortcut pasta, like a penne or a rotini would be good, or even over the top of spaghetti noodles. In fact, I have made dishes like this where I cook the pasta right in the crock pot. I just add extra liquid, about one cup of liquid per four ounces of pasta I intend to cook. And then I just add the pasta the last 30 minutes of the cooking, and then it's all in the crock pot there. But tonight I am actually going to have this with egg noodles. I just thought that sounded really good. So I'm just gonna cook these on the stove until they're al dente and then we'll just have this over egg noodles. Okay, here it is, all ready to go. Again, I opted to just cook the noodles separately and put the Italian chicken on top, the Olive Garden chicken on top. Here are my green beans, really tender, really soft. Like I said, not crispy green beans, but so good. It smells amazing. The house smells fantastic. This is gonna be so great. I just got back from a workout. A friend of mine convinced me to meet her at Orange Theory tonight. I normally go and work out in the morning. So I'm super hungry and this is gonna hit the spot. So, so glad that we tried this. Tonight's dinner is going to be beef and broccoli in the crock pot. And I will leave the recipe that inspired this in the description box below. It's from a website called Recipe Critic. I am changing it up just a little bit, specifically the amounts of different ingredients that I'm going to use according to what I have on hand and the amount of meat that I'm using. I am going to use a third of a cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of brown sugar, about one to two spoonfuls of this minced garlic, a can of beef consomme. I will mix that all together and then pour it over this stew meat in the crock pot. And it's getting late in the day, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook it on high for about two to two and a half hours. My crock pot cooks hot, so I'm gonna check on it then. I don't want it to overcook. And then once the meat is getting close to being done cooking, I'm going to use the cornstarch and some of the sauce to make a slurry and put that in along with the broccoli like the last 30 minutes that it's cooking. So I'll show you how I'm doing that when it is time. I almost forgot you guys, a tablespoon of sesame oil in the sauce mixture as well. My brain is just not functioning. We've had kind of a crazy week around here, even crazier than normal for us. So my apologies for forgetting about that, but a tablespoon of sesame oil, third of a cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of brown sugar, my can of beef consomme, and then I've already put a couple spoonfuls of minced garlic in there. I will pour that over the top of this in the crock pot. I also forgot to mention that I have fresh broccoli and steamed in the bag broccoli. I could not decide how much broccoli to use, so I decided that I need to use this up, but I wanted to have just a little bit more, so I'll use the rest of my fresh broccoli here, which is one crown and then one like tiny little crown, and then a bag of 
this um, frozen broccoli at the end. Okay, my beef is pretty much done. I removed about a quarter cup or so of the broth and I've let it cool down a little bit. And I'm gonna add to that about two tablespoons of cornstarch. You don't wanna add cornstarch to super, super hot um, liquids if you intend to pour it in because the heat is kind of what activates it and helps it start to thicken everything. So you want it to thicken up after you put it in there. So that's why I let it cool down a little bit. And I'm gonna stir that in along with my fresh broccoli, which I went ahead and chopped up and washed and with that bag of frozen broccoli as well. And we're gonna let it cook for about 30 more minutes. Also, I went ahead and turned it down to low now because I don't think it needs to be on high any longer. Okay, so here is mine and I am having it over brown rice. I did have a little bit of like green onion that I chopped up on top and a little sprinkling of sesame seeds. I made some ramen noodles for the kids to have theirs over. I didn't use the seasoning packets because there's you know, plenty of seasoning in the sauce from the beef and broccoli, but um, I am looking forward to diving into this. The only thing is that I wish I could have made the sauce just a little bit thicker. I probably should have used just a little bit more cornstarch, but it smells delicious. I'm sure it's going to taste fantastic. It really was pretty easy um, at the end of the day with pretty minimal ingredients. So I'm very pleased. This crock pot recipe is coming from one of you from Mrs. Webb's house. Thank you so much for leaving me the comment with this recipe for sausage and red beans in the crock pot. I am having this recipe and I did have one little boo-boo. I forgot to pick up a green pepper at the grocery store, but I have some other little peppers here that I'm gonna go ahead and substitute. That's just the way it works sometimes around here. It is getting ready to start storming, so I'm not going to head out of the house just for a green pepper, but I am using uh, two cans of beans and I'm using red beans and then I'm gonna use this three bean blend, which includes red beans because that's what I have. I'm gonna use one package of turkey smoked sausage. It calls for a cup of chicken broth, but I'm just gonna use a cup of water and about a tablespoon of this broth base, about a tablespoon of butter, some garlic, some onion, the peppers, some celery. I will chop these things up and probably saute them in the butter before I add them to the crock pot. And then it's seasoned with paprika and Creole seasoning and salt and pepper to taste. I'll probably use Use about a tablespoon of this and about a teaspoon of that and then just you know a dash of salt and pepper. I'll put all that into the crock pot and let it simmer all afternoon and again it's getting ready to start storming so it's going to be a cool rainy afternoon and evening and this is going to be fantastic for a day like today. did not think that we were gonna have a meal like this and not have some cornbread, did you? <laughs> I mean, I may not be a true Southerner, but as an Oklahoman, I feel like I am Southerner adjacent. So I totally understand that with this kind of meal, beans and cornbread is just like a thing. Chili and cornbread, red beans and cornbread. If we're not doing rice, we've gotta do cornbread. So we're gonna make some Amish sour cream cornbread. I will leave the recipe linked in the description box below. It's really easy and it's the best cornbread that I I've ever made personally. So here I have two tablespoons of butter melted, a quarter cup of milk, one cup of sour cream, which is one eight ounce container. We're gonna need one teaspoon each of salt, cream of tartar, and baking soda, one egg, a cup of flour, two and a half tablespoons of sugar, and then three quarters of a cup of cornmeal. And it is already in my bowl because I wanted to make sure I had enough. And I had exactly three quarters of a cup basically. So um, I feel like it's kismet. We're meant to make this bread. So all I'm gonna do is stir all of those ingredients together and pour that into a greased nine by 13 loaf pan here or wait, this is a, whatever this is, a nine inch loaf pan. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pop that into a 400 degree oven and we are going to get that going.
it smells really, really good. Full disclosure, I did add a cornstarch slurry, just like a few tablespoons of cornstarch with a little bit of the broth um, in here, mix that up and poured it in because I felt like it didn't thicken kind of the way that I would have preferred. And that was probably my fault because I think I probably added too much water. And again, I've departed a little bit from the recipe that you provided. So I am very sorry for that, but man, does it smell fantastic. So I'm gonna plate some of this up and I'll show you what it looks like. just top this with some grated cheese, just kind of the ends and pieces of various blocks that I had in the fridge that I grated up and combined in that bowl there. And then a couple of pieces of the um, Amish sour cream cornbread. And I've already tried this. It is absolutely delicious. It's super flavorful, so good. I'm so glad that we made this. We'll definitely be putting this in the rotation of dinners at our house, especially in the wintertime. Really good. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have for you today. Again, thank you for all of your suggestions for crock pot meals. And if there are any recipe websites that I used, I'll be sure to leave them linked in the description box below. And I will check in with another video very soon.